I'm Henry Freestone, this is the Great British Chef's Signature Series. I got locked in a freezer when I was working for a hotel chain. The second you hear that thing go, you're like, fuck. But there's loads of ice cream in there, so actually it wasn't too bad. The head chef was like, he's going to do a stock take, and I was like, well, you're going to be missing some ice cream because I got locked in the freezer and I got hungry. Food is like, it's a passion project. If I wanted to make money, I wouldn't, obviously wouldn't be a chef. The more chefs we get into it because of that, not the more chefs who fall into it, that's going to be better. That's where the industry needs to change. People need to realise that like, chefs are people as well. That's what I want to start pushing. If they're unhappy in their life, then they're going to be happy in the kitchen. Hi, I'm Henry from Peckham Cellars, and today we're going to be cooking braised butter beans in white wine with wild garlic and goat's curd. First step, you get an onion. If you haven't got an onion, a shallot will work or a leek will work as well. We're going to take the skin off. Always leave the root on the bottom though, because it makes it easier to chop. Keeps it all together. And then we're going to finely slice, uh, finely chop this. I love the simplicity. I like the fact that you're making one ingredient really sing rather than kind of masking flavours. I think things like beans are massively underused in our country um, and they're just delicious and they're really like, good for you. They're filling, they're better than potatoes. I'm not a massive fan of potatoes. Yeah, and it's just, it's one of those things, it's, it's so simple, but it's just delicious. And I think that's the most important thing really is like, you're taking something very humble and making it like the star of the show basically. Always cook in olive oil. We've got a pan on here, medium heat. I'll put onions in and we're going to put salt on them straight away just to release the water. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take three cloves of garlic. And we're just going to finely slice them. Yeah, so my dad trained at uh, Claridge's in the 80s to get onto the Savoy management course. And he grew up in a hotel in Cornwall. So when he got to and then I started working. He was catering manager at Draper's Hall, which is like a big fine dining um, place in the city, which I started working at when I was 15. So he's now, he doesn't do that anymore. Um, my mum used to work at Fortland as well. So like, you spend a lot of time in the big food hall up there. And kind of get, you get used to eating like smoked salmon and foie gras and stuff that like seven year olds shouldn't really eat. So we're not gonna get any color on the onions. We're just gonna slowly sweat them down. Obviously as well, when you're cooking onions and garlic, never put them in at the same time, because the onions take much longer to cook than the garlic. And you, nothing worse than the flavour of burnt garlic unless you're actually going for that flavour. So now these are kind of almost there. We're going to add all the garlic in. We're also going to add a couple of sprigs of thyme. Thyme and white wine, perfect combination. Throw them in whole, because you can always take it out at the end. I want people to be able to come here and read the, read, read the whole menu and go, I understand everything on that menu and it all sounds delicious. I don't want to put foams on anything. I don't want to put sea purslane. I don't want to use stuff that everyday people don't really know about. I just, it doesn't really interest me. Our ethos here is it's really super ingredient led and it's just treating all the ingredients with such respect that actually the most important thing is the flavor at the end of it. I don't want people to be confused. I want people to want to come here because they know the food's gonna be great and it's super simple. Cool. Now these are slowly cooked, we're going to move them off here. We've got some butter beans that I cooked, they got soaked overnight and then I cooked them in a stock of bay leaf and rosemary this morning. Obviously at home tinned ones work fine, but what we're going to do is we're just going to put that in there. Now we're going to get a glass of white wine and put that all in and start slowly simmering down on that. Every single dish I cook will have wine in it somewhere. Even the sim most simple bechamel for our croque monsieurs on our brunch menu has white wine reduced in it, just because it adds a flavour which you can't really get from anything else. Also, we're a wine bar, we have wine on tap. So like, so this is literally going to simmer for about five minutes, five, ten minutes, and then we're going to finish it off. So now that, wi that wine's pretty much reduced to nothing, but that'll absorbed into all the beans. So we're just going to put a blob of water in there. Have the gas up high now, because what we're going to do is we're going to start simmering it. So now we got to this stage, we've reduced all that water down. This is going to take a couple lumps of butter. Something like this has a lovely shine. So yeah, what we're going to do, that butter was quite cold, so that should thicken up the sauce. And as you see already, it's already got a bit of a shine on it. It's going to give it a little taste. And something like this as well, I won't really season with pepper. Pepper for me isn't a seasoning, it's more, it's a spice, because the seasoning is improving on the flavour that's already there. So sugar, salt, MSG lemon juice even, like it's improving upon the flavours that are already in the pan. Whereas as soon as you add pepper into it, it's just changing, adding a completely different flavour. So now you've got to this stage, what you can do is, instead of having to chop, pick your thyme at the beginning, <laughs> pull out the stalks and throw them in the bin. Wild garlic's great. 
It's only around for a few, few months of the year though. So what I always do is I always get load in, blanch it, blitz into oil, then freeze it in little ice cube trays. So in September I can then do wild garlic aioli and everyone's like, oh my God, how do you get wild garlic? <laughs> it's really important that we eat seasonally, especially now with everything that's going on politically with us leaving the EU and stuff. We're actually gonna have to start eating the fruit and veg that we produce in our own country because we're not gonna be able to afford to buy it from Spain or France or Italy. And you've got great farms like Good Earth Growers and Cornwall are fantastic and you've got like up in Nor uh, Suffolk and Norfolk where you've got like really, really great vegetables getting grown. And I think we just need to use more of them. I will never have an avocado on my menu because they fly halfway around the world. So, taking up time. If I cook something like this at home, I'll probably have this with some bread because I absolutely love beans and I think they're delicious. I do know a lot of people won't have a thinker dishes completely until there's some protein on it, or even though these are pretty much just protein. But they're also great for breakfast. Obviously baked beans are a staple, but if you're, if you made these the night before, something like this on toast, absolutely delicious. So what we're gonna do now is just gonna get some goat's curd. This just adds a this lovely sharp creaminess that you just can't get from anything else. Um, I cook with a lot of goat's curd. Not massive on goat's cheese, but goat's curd I love. The difference between goat's curd and goat's cheese, flavour-wise, it's they're quite similar, but it's it's more of a texture thing. Like this, once this gets a bit warm and melts into the beans, you just get this lovely going back to mouthfeel thing. It's like it coats your mouth in a certain way. What we're gonna do next is just get a load of olive oil, just a little way around, and just get a tiny bit of cracked black pepper on top of the goat's curd just to cut through. There you have it. So this is braised butter beans with wild garlic and goat's curd. Mm -hmm.